Hello, welcome to another Jigsaw 24 live video. My name's Sharif. I'm Taylor. And I'm Sean. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Wacom Cintiq Pro 24. Ta-da! <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, we're going to be getting it out of its box, uh, showing you all the components and accessories. Uh, then we're going to be plugging it in, um, showing you how to set it up, and then giving it a bit of a go with Photoshop as well. So, yeah, brilliant. So any of you um, that may already be using Cintiq, it'd be a really great opportunity for you to see the new product. Um, there has been quite a few significant upgrades with the new, new mm. version of this product, so we'll be talking through that with you. Um, any of you that are also maybe using Intuos Pro that have been eyeing up Cintiq and wondering how it might fit into your workflow, definitely worth you having a look at this and seeing, seeing how it works and what it can, what it can do. Um, so yeah, without further ado, shall we talk about the box and what you get when you purchase one of these from us? Sure, definitely. So, this is the touch version of the Cintiq 24, so it has pen and touch input. There is also a pen only version. So if I just spin the box around, that if we can see down here, um, but in the corner we've got a handy little uh, section here which highlights all of the main functions of the product. So it's quite nice and easy for you to be able to find what's included, everything that you need, and also all the compatibility options. So let's get it open. Okay. And just well, remember, if you do have any uh, questions, just drop them in the comments box uh, below the video and we'll get to them in a minute. Yeah. Cheers. Ooh. Brand new oh, on seal. Very nice. Exciting. So, just spin it back round and see. So, new box syndrome. <laughs> when you, <laughs> um, so when you first open the box, it's awesome. lovely and, and packed in nice and neat here. Um, you get this tray which sits in the top. Brilliant. So this slots just out, see if I can do this. I don't know if you can oh, see yeah. on the front here. Um, so on here, you've actually got all of the instructions that you need to help you get the different elements of the product set up. So that's including how the stands are mounted, the feet, any of the sort of various accessories that you might need in cabling. Everything's described on here. Um, so don't throw that away in error. So let's get that open. Ooh. Oops, so if I can just give you that. that. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, so... This is our accessories. So in here, um, where should we start? Start at this end. So we have the new Pro Pen 2. So Pro Pen 2 is the latest generation of pen technology from Wacom. And this features over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, and it also has reduced lag, um, reduced parallax, and better functionality compared to previous generations. Having a lot of good feedback on this pen, by the way, guys, um, across the Jigsaw customer base, at least. Cool. So we've also got a pen holder. So this is an, a neat little accessory that's been added for newer generations of products. So this actually slots into little slots at the top of the product, which we can show you later. Um, but the pen can then be stored in there. So either for safekeeping or if you just need it somewhere where you can access it easily. So that's that. We've got a pen pot. Um, so as you can see, this is nice and sealed. But I'll just show you the inside. Just unwrap that. It's very sticky. So you twist the pot to open. And inside you have a series of pen nibs. So the black nibs are the same as the nib that comes in the pen. And this is just a standardised, very smooth feeling uh, nib across the screen. The white nibs are actually a felt nib. So these are textured. They're going to give you a bit more of a, a different sort of tactile response from the pen. Yeah. So you can interchange those as and when you need. Um, you've got pen removal tool, which sits on the bottom. And then that also is a little pen stand if you need to. Can we buy spares of those nibs as well? You can, yes. Yeah. So there are different, different types of nibs that you can get. You can get uh, packs generally in packs of 10 um, that you can purchase. But if you have a look on the Jigsaw website, that will have everything that you need on there. Oh, this is the express key. So the express key remote. So those of you who are using a tablet currently or an older generation of Cintiq, you probably have seen the buttons down the side of the product. So those buttons are there for you to add in any sorts of keyboard shortcuts or different functions that you need to be able to access quickly. And for each application that you're in, you can customise those separately. So rather than building them into the side of the device, because this product is quite large, the idea is now that they come on this little remote, which is included. So anything you need to access, be it in your hand or on the side of the screen, you can use this little remote to be able to do so. And this will magnetically clip to the borders down the side of the product. Yeah. And this, this remote itself wasn't previously included with the Cintiq Pro 13 or 16, the sort of smaller versions of this tablet, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't. So you, do, you did get it on the 27, uh, when the 27 was still around. But on the 13 and the 16 Pro, that hasn't been included. Um, they are available as an optional extra. So if you have got one of those products already and you do want to add this, that's something that you can add on later. Brilliant, but again, they're included with the box now, guys. Right? So this is very exciting. 
So cables. moving on to the cables. So one of the biggest changes that we've got compared to older generations of uh, Cintiq to the newer versions is the change of the cabling system. So previously the cables used to be fixed into the products. They weren't removable and you didn't necessarily always have uh, a high variety of, of options available to you to plug into different types of machine. Um, everything you need should now be included in the box. So we've got a USB-C cable, which is very important for those of you using new Macs. So this cable will replace having to have a separate USB cable and display cable. So one cable, absolutely everything, keeps it nice and neat. USB-C is a feature after all. <laughs> so second up, we have a display port cable. So we'll get this out of the box in a second. And the display port cable actually comes with a mini display adapter. So those of you who are other, using other versions of Mac, we've got the option over here. We've then got USB cable. So as I said, if you're not using USB-C, you'll need this being plugged in too. And we've got a HDMI cable. So you've got a variety of different options that That's are available cool. to you. All right, let's get, so let's this. get rid of yeah. this. Get the display out. I don't, I'm not going to lift this because oh, no. <laughs> it's not too heavy, but it's not too light. Right, so let's move that over. Um, so just to make you aware as well, your main power cable lives in a similar tray, which is found in the bottom of the box. I'm that we have this panel on the back here and we've also got these two feet so the feet are designed so that you can pull them out like this so that when you have the product on the table it will give you either a 5 or a 20 degree angle depending on whether or not the feet are out if I also remove this panel on the back um, which there we go might need one of you to hold oh, this sorry. <laughs> do you want to grab that Okay. <laughs> it's definitely live. <laughs> what if you can have a go? Yeah. Oh, there oh, we go. go. Alright, click just, just a bit. Just a bit stiff. There, there we go. go. Oh, so, so, guys, and then you kind of pull it out the back. <laughs> you can see that we have this recessed section in the back here. Um, so it serves two purposes. Number one is all of your cables plug in here, and then they can be fed out through the little hole in the top. And this will keep it nice and neat so you don't have any mess and clutter. The second thing is if you are aware of the new Cintiq Pro engine that's been launched by Wacom. It's a modular computer element which can drop straight in here mm. and it will sit flush to the back. So essentially what that will do is make this device an all-in-one, which is really exciting. Cool. So let's get it set up. Yeah, right. Excellent. So I think I found, so in the bottom of the box, there was um, all the different power adapters you need. So if you do want to try and get this on a plane, there's a the U adapter there, but you have one in there as well. And it's just got a simple, you know, usual power brick type um, adapter in there as well. So I'm just going to... Look at that in as well. While we are setting up, um, we have had a few yeah. questions in. Right. Um, one of the main ones, and Taylor, you might be able to answer this, yeah, is right. around pricing and availability. People yeah. want to know how they can get their hands on it and when and how much. Okay, so Jigsaw have stock of this product now. Um, we have been one of the first resellers in the UK to get stock. So if you want to hop onto the Jigsaw website, you can find both versions of the product there. Um, we have obviously the pen only um, version and we have the pen and touch. The pen and touch is what we're going to show you today. And um, for those of you that don't know, the touch version um, gives you all of the gestures that you may be used to with like your Apple trackpad. So you can sort of pinch to zoom and move it around. It's a lot more tactile. Um, this is a really great feature um, to improve the speed at which you edit um, because rather than you have to like maybe move between your keyboard and, and your mouse, etc., you can do a lot more on, on screen. So I definitely recommend you consider that one. So yeah, in stock now, pricing on the website. Of course, if you've got requirement for a lot of units um, we can we can look to fulfill that for you also so just get in touch with your account manager or maybe even comment below if, if you if you're really keen and then we can come yeah. back to you with that so so yeah that's the, um, the product um, that's great we've just had a few more um, questions in actually uh, okay. one, one person wants to know they've, they've got a new MacBook Pro with touch bar 
want to know if this will work with that. Okay, yeah, so the latest MacBook Pro um, product is obviously a Thunderbolt 3 product or a USB-C connector. So yes, it will work perfectly with this. Um, as Sean explained earlier, that included USB-C cable will pop into your Cintiq and the other end will, will clip into one of your Thunderbolt 3 ports. That's it. Okay. Nice and easy. <laughs> easy. Um, another, on the same lines, uh, will this work with the latest Mac OS? Yes, it will. So and Wacom have updated all their drivers now, so um, we will show you in a second the setup process for that. But yeah, it works seamlessly with the latest Mac OS, so no problems there. We've had a couple of people um, talking about that, that they're on previous generation Intuos's and right, um, they okay. want to know why they should upgrade to Cintiq Pro 24. Okay, yeah, so any Intuos, Intuos users, I mean, I guess some of you guys might be still on Intuos 4, you might have some Intuos R, Intuos Draw type users that maybe do a big upgrade, um, and also anyone on Intuos Pro, um, this is a really great um, upgrade product for you. Um, we'll probably talk about it in a bit more detail when we actually set the product up, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great um, upgrade path for you. Um, I mean, being able to edit on screen is the key here. If you haven't ever used a Cintiq, um, it completely revolutionises how you edit and how you create, I think. I think something else as well that's sorry to put in something that's really important to mention as well is the color accuracy of the screen. So, like firstly, it's a 4K resolution, um, and we've also got a 99% Adobe RGB color gamut, and it's 10-bit color. So, the amount of color displayable colors that you're getting uh, is huge, but it also means that what you're seeing is incredibly accurate, and you can color manage this with any sort of color management device. Um, but this will enable you to ensure that the work you're creating is true to the way that you want it to be seen. Uh, and it also means if you're outputting to print or to the web, you know that what you're being, uh, what's being seen by others is going to be correct. No, yeah, it's brilliant. Right, um, shall we get it connected up then? And, uh... yeah. yeah, that sounds, sounds good to me. So we've got a Mac up here. <laughs> Excellent. So when you first plug it in, what? So what all I've done so do? far is I have, in the back where I showed you earlier, I've managed to plug in the DisplayPort cable with the mini DisplayPort adapter um, and the USB cable and then the power block, which is also plugged into the back. Here. Yeah, so the MacBook we're actually gonna pull this into today, guys, is actually an older generation MacBook. Um, so this is Thunderbolt 2, and that's what the mini display port adapter is for. So Sean's just gonna quickly plug that into our, our handy MacBook here. So again, if you are an older gen MacBook Pro products, everything you need to get this product working is already included in the box, which is really good. Excellent. So we are plugged in. Just give it a second to recognize. So there's a little on button on the top of the screen here. Um, so if you just tap that on, it will come up. And it should go through and it should recognise in a second which connectivity method we're using. It's cycling through them at the minute. It's looking for the right signal. If it doesn't, we can give it a little helping hand. So um, what you can see here is you've got a few different lit up icons. Um, so you've got an icon to toggle on touch. You've got icons to access your keyboard and your different setting options. And then you've also got an icon here to change your display options. So if we just toggle through this and select display port, which is the option that we're going to use. That should. Should work. <laughs> come up and be live. Just thinking about it. Um, might be the MacBook. Needing just to port. While that loads up, um, Taylor, there's some, someone else was asking about, um, is there an optional stand to go with this as well? With this product? Yeah, that's right. So there is a, um, so the Cintiq Pro 24, there is an optional upgrade option that you can have a um, an ergo stand. So this is really good because this product's quite large. Um, for any of you that, you know, are, are used to sort of pen and paper type editing, you can actually manipulate the tablet and, ro and move it around, roll it different portrait to landscape, um, you know, flip it upside down so you can create at whatever angle you want and um, it also gives you different levels of height adjustment as well so um, some people prefer to, to sort of edit almost portrait style traditional portrait style um, so that ergo stand allows you to do that as well and the ergo stand um, has had a little bit of an upgrade this time around as well so it fits it fits onto the back of the device whether you've got the cables plugged in obviously and also if you've got the engine in there as well so that stand is fully compatible with the Cintiq Pro 24 that is also on our website so if you're interested in that you can find it on the Jigsaw website Great. Perfect. Um, and are we are we on? Um, are we on? Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> so that might just take a, a second or so. Definitely live. 
<laughs> yeah. So while, um, while setting it up, one of the other things I think maybe to mention as well is that you might be able to see, if you're not familiar with the look of Cintiq, um, rather than the older Cintiqs, which as I said earlier, have the buttons inbuilt into the side, yeah. we've now gone for a full edge-to-edge -edge glass solution. So it means that there's no way for your pen nib to get caught whilst you're drawing, illustrating, creating your work. It also means that, uh, as we were talking about earlier and as Taylor mentioned, if you choose to work on screen, you're getting a much more immersive experience than you would have done previously. Yeah. So all the different tools that you need are at your fingertips. You can as well work without a keyboard if you choose to. Obviously, there is the option to plug them in. You have some USB hubs on the side. Oh, yeah. um, and but this Express Key Remote and the on-screen menus which you can access should do everything that you need. So if you want to, to try and make yourself quicker, more efficient in the way that you're working, working on screen is definitely uh, a step in the right direction for that. So let me just Ooh. grab that other key. Okay. <laughs> I think, uh, and just while, just while we're setting up, I think we're going to um, just take, take a few minutes and uh, we'll be back later on. So if you can join us in uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, we'll be back and having it up and running and we're going to have a demo with one of our designers as well uh, going through uh, using it with Photoshop and other Adobe Creative Cloud apps. So uh, we'll see you in 15. In a mini moment. <laughs> Cheers. Bye.